All right, what's up, boys? I'm joined by Gio here. He's Yo, what's a up, new up and coming Houston Rocket YouTuber, obviously. So uh, I wanted to link up with him. He's actually one of my most loyal subs, so I figured I'd help him out with the first video. So again, we're talking about the Rockets, Timberwolves, 129, 107 win tonight, man. So without further ado, let's get it cracking. Gio, how you doing tonight, man? Great, man. How are you? Bro, just chilling. It's 2.10 in the morning, you know, just on yeah, that grind. <laughs> Yeah, it's twelve ten here in Canada, man. You know. Yeah, that's crazy. But that, you, know, like, um, yeah. you say you're from Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so obviously I live on the East Coast, so just to see us like Rocket fans, man, it's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, man, it's crazy. Like, even though I live in Canada, I should be a Raptors fan, but um, you know, Houston Rockets. Yeah, no, I, mean? I don't think I've ever heard of a, a Canadian that likes the Rockets. That's pretty dope. Actually, I mean, no, there's, there's, there's gamer. There's gamer. Yeah, I was gonna say gamer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, let's get into this game, man. Let's get into this. Yeah, game. facts, bro. You want to start it yeah. off or what? Yeah. So, um, my overall thoughts about this game was that it was actually like a really good game, uh, overall, especially for uh, Kelly Olynyk and uh, Kevin Porter Jr. I think Kelly Olynyk kind of proved everyone everyone wrong, um, about that trade. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, the thing about Olenek, I wasn't big on the trade, but, like, the one thing I will say about Olenek is he rolls to the rim, and he's always in, like, the right position. Like, he's fitting into the offense really well. I did yeah. see the game, so, yeah, Olenek was great. He's He's been shooting the three ball really well all season long, was four of six. Yeah, man, uh, that's, great. I don't know, it's been, it was actually, like, really amazing seeing Kelly Olenek uh, fit in our system, like, very quickly. It was kind of, it was kind of, like, very surprising, you know? Yeah, for sure. And um, I mean, do you have any other takeaways from this game? I mean, you said KBJ. He had twenty. Yeah, you know, KBJ came on. Like, I don't know what he shot today. Like, I think he shot. Was it a good efficiency today? I don't, yeah, I don't even know. yeah, it was really good. It was ten of fifteen. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah. So yeah, KBJ. Like that's um, that's a future uh, all star right there. You know what I mean? Man. Yeah, I mean, dude, like one thing I will say is I'm starting to really like John Wall with Kevin Porter Jr. Yeah. Because the thing about it is, like, you'll look at Kevin Porter Jr. and you'll see he had two assists, but I think that's, like, how he should be used moving forward is just as a scorer. So, mm, yeah, yeah. yeah how, how do you feel about that, man, like, that combination? I I, I like that, actually. I'm not going to lie. I, li I like how we kind of turned Kevin Porter Jr. into this point guard. Um, You know what I mean? Like, before, like in the in his first, what, like, three games, he had, like, 20-plus 20, like 20 points and, like, 10. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what it was, but, like... I think he was averaging was, 27 yeah. and 7 or something like that. Yeah, he had, like, he had, like, a ton of assists, like, in his first few games. And, like, I like I like that, but I also like him scoring, too. And that fit beside John Wall is going to be, like, really good, too, because he can pass the ball to Kevin Porter. Kevin Porter does, does his thing on the court, and then he can just score, so... No. Wait, dude, am I tripping, or did he have, like... 15 assists or maybe not that much i think he had like 10 or 11 right John Wall? Think. no um kevin porter jr this game? Just, no i'm talking about like remember when he first came up he had that like the first game he played oh yeah i yeah, think it was like, 10 assists yeah it was something like up there I, yeah, it was, it was a, yeah it was like 13 points and like 10 assists yeah yeah man but again uh yeah like you said i mean john wall like john wall took less shots than he had been taking just 14 i think that's completely reasonable 14 seems like a, a fair amount the thing about John Wall is that his past few games, he's been chucking up so many shots on horrible efficiency. Like, what was, yeah, the, right. was the last game was like what six of twenty five? I think. Like, oh yeah, it was my. horrible. I'll tell you that. This was a good, like, it was kind of like a good bounce back game for John Wall today. Uh, Thirteen points, twelve assists. You know. Yeah, it was a good game, dude. But like, another uh, things we could talk about was um, obviously is DJ Augustine. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Twenty yeah. points off the bench, man. I, I was I was saying this in Will stream, but like I feel like DJ Augustine could like kind of like um not necessarily like revive his career, but kind of like um come back in a way. You know, you know what I mean? Like kind of yeah. be like um kind of be like the player he was in like uh, in Orlando. I yeah. really wish he was here from the start of the year because like when John Wall was off the floor, there was just no backup point guard that could run the offense, like a veteran at least. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so um. And, oh, dude, Sterling Brown just continues to play really well. Oh, to start Sterling tonight. Brown, man. I feel like we should resign him in the in the offseason, man. I'm not going to lie. Is, yeah, isn't I think he, they will. Isn't, like a, isn't he like in a one-year deal, right? Yeah, he's on a one-year deal. They'll definitely bring him back. I mean, they would have traded him if they had no plans to resign him. I'd imagine, at least. Yeah, and, um, of course, Jay Sean Tate, 10 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists. Yeah, Tate looks pretty good. I love Tate, Three man. Boxes, like, well, geez. He's only like 6'4". Like, I love Tate, man. This is so enjoyable to watch. Yeah, like, um, dude, like, how do you feel exactly about Ben McElmore, like, his role in this team? 
are we talking about like in general like what, yeah like, <sighs> like you played 26 minutes i mean do, i mean they basically had no choice but like how do you feel about ben mackamore i don't know but i feel like this season like silas is not using him right like i just feel like i kind of feel weird about that because like last year yeah. Ben McElmore was shooting so well from three point percent, like from the three. I don't like. I it was because like, I don't know if it was like he fit in like um Mike D'Antoni's system that well, or like he just doesn't fit in Steven Silas's system. But like I don't know what's going on with McElmore this season. Like, uh, I mean, in my opinion, at least it's consistency. He hasn't like seen minutes. Like you remember that one really good stretch that he had? I would think yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, and then they stopped playing him for no reason. Yeah. So like the thing with McElmore is, I mean, like again, also he was playing with Russell Westbrook and Harden. Who yeah, I, generate yeah. the most? Probably, I, if I had to bet money, I'd probably say they're one and two for gen, or maybe LeBron and Giannis. But like, they're right up there, top five of generating open three point shots or open jump shots. Yeah, that's yeah. a thing. But yeah, I mean, like other than that, dude. Um, again, I mean, DJ Wilson has looked pretty good. Another yeah, I like game. DJ Wilson, man. I like DJ Wilson. Yeah, he's I'm pretty not cool. Lie. Uh, KJ and, uh, played twenty three. Yeah. I like KJ too. That was actually a steal in the draft. I don't even know how. Like, yeah, KJ Martin looks hella good. Pat, Wait, I didn't, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know Patton was even on the team anymore. Yeah, I, I, I thought so. He's too. on a I two way, like, right? Released him. Yeah, yeah, I think so. On a two way. Hey, Why bro. Uh, Andrew like, wanna... Lamb's done to him though, too. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, facts. But I was gonna say, like, uh, you want to like touch upon the Timberwolves a little bit? I mean, I know we're we're not gonna like get too much into them, but like, I'll um, just say this. Like, yeah, I could touch on the Timberwolves. Yeah, yeah how, Kat, how do you feel Kat, about that? Uh, Cat and Anthony Edwards look pretty. Uh, great tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't know too much about the Timberwolves, but like I know they have a lot of young talent on the team. Like um, you know, Cat and Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels looked pretty good today. Uh, Nas yeah, Reed, Nas Reed, even though he didn't have a good game today, he still uh, overall is actually like pretty good. Dude, in my uh, opinion, yeah. like Nas Reed, did he should be starting on an NBA team. He's he's really good. Wait, but he obviously, starting. yeah, he should be starting definitely. Who's starting over him? Uh, I mean, McDaniel's got the start at, at the four, so. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. And then, um, no, Jared Vanderbilt, I like, I kind of like his game too, and um, of course, my boy, uh, Jared Culver, so, you know. Yeah, oh, dude, he, he doesn't play at all, man. He's That's like what I'm 21. saying. Everyone's like, like 21 or younger on this team, I feel like, just a power. I mean, not everyone, but like a lot of guys are. Like, I think their old, their old player is Ricky Rubio. I'm not wrong. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't trade him, if I'm being real. He doesn't seem interested at all. Did you notice that, or was it just me? Like, he didn't care at all about this game from the Ricky? start. Yeah, I felt like the way he was playing was just he wasn't interested. Because I, I think it's just his play style in general. Like, I, I just hate his play style. I don't know what about it. Like, he kind of just, like, pisses me off for no yeah, reason, man. All right, so, like, is, yeah. yo, bro, real talk, though. This is your first video, man. You got to hit him with an outro. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? If you guys want to see um, some more Rockets content or, you know, anime content, you know, you got to hit up my channel, G-O-D-C, J-D-C, man. Yeah, that's all I got to say. And, uh, you know, thanks for thanks for having me on this uh, video, Swaggy. You know? All right, bet, bro. Thanks for coming by, man. Hopefully yeah. this blows up, bro. I want, like, 100 likes on this video. Oh, no, yeah. I'm kidding. Not 100. <laughs> just like yeah. it, bro. Why not? Yeah, thanks <laughs> for having me on this uh, video, Swaggy. All right, I'll see you, dude. Yep. Peace out.